with Nelson J. Davis. I had to start a new live fashion dolls, sending all of these requests out. We're back with actor, model, director, producer, Nelson J. Davis. He is going to be with us. We had to start a new live because it complete the chat completely froze and that happens. So We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Nelson is back. I'm going to add him back so that we can continue this interview and conclude. Four music will be here. Hi, three times to T. All right, and we're back. I apologize about that, Nelson. We had this new oh, live. No, the chat. Hey, it happens. Yes, the chat completely froze. So my next question for you is, if you could produce or work with any actress or actor out here, who would that be? I'm giving you tough questions. <laughs> no, that it's a hard one because it, it's so many people, but um sheesh. Oh man. This is the first time I ever had a man tongue tied on my show. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, all right, man. All right, so actress. See, see, part of me wants to say like you know, like Megan Good or Lauren Lennon, just because they so so beautiful. Not to take away from their talent, but I just feel like it's always it's also somebody out there that's like a vet vet in the game that I probably should say. So, see, it would be easier if I was able to pick, like, an ensemble cast <laughs> instead of one. But, no, nah, um, to be honest, um, on the actress, on the actress tip, I would love to work with, like, a, a real strong actress like a, like a Viola Davis or a Angela Bassett, one of those type. Like, they could be, like, my mama or something. Like I just feel like we would have like some good, some good uh, chemistry and dialogue going back and forth. Like, like I can see it. Almost mm -hmm. every actor that I've interviewed said Viola or Angela or either Regina King. That that has been the most requested <sighs> actress Regina that everybody King. wants to work with. Everybody wants to work with them. Or on the male side for the actors, they said either Denzel or if he was still mm -hmm. here, God rest his soul, Chadwick. So yeah. yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Denzel, I think that kind of goes without saying. So I was trying to pick somebody else because it's kind of like, who else besides Denzel do you want to work with? <laughs> but yeah, definitely, maybe like a, a Michael B. Jordan, Will Smith, Poop, Pooch Hall again. I don't know. It just depends on the project. Oh man, it's so many. It's so many talented people out there that I just admire so much. So it's just. That's a tough one. I'm not even going to lie. All right. Um, then I'm going to ask another question. And I'm going to let the fans ask some questions as well, too. Shout out to Chris June. Amazing actor. I did an interview with him. Yeah, and I'll we post the together. highlight of that. We worked Chris together. June? Yes. He actually, uh, um, it was a Tyson Anthony project. Uh, we actually played as cousins in, in the project. So big ups to, to Chris June. Yes, I've been following his career since he did um, Shout Out to Raheem Brazil, uh, Twisted. That Raheem Brazil is an excellent producer and director. And when I did my interview with Chris, it was very, I, I'll tell him this because I know he's here. Raising Eli, yes. I remember that show. And yeah, King David, I think it was awesome yeah. the show as well, too. Yes. Uh, oh, my God. When I did my interview with Chris, I can remember being nervous. My heart was beating. I had on a dress, and my heart was beating through the dress. I, His energy, like, he has such an energy like none other, a force to be reckoned with. And we had great chemistry in that interview. So I'll post the highlight because you guys know I always do my little throwbacks at the end of the show because I've done so many interviews. Right. Under my belt, I have at least 207 shows total wow. from Facebook to here. Yes, yeah, so That's I've been dope. doing this for a long time. I started at the age of 18 years old in 2016. So yes. Congratulations. This is a lot. 
Thank you so much. So my next question for you is, during your downtime, because you're also a writer, director, producer, when you're not on the writing block, you're writing at the table, what is Nelson doing in his downtime? Uh, catching up on uh, on movies and series, both, you know, on the indie level and on, on the major. I just love, just love entertainment and, and love seeing what other people are doing. And I'm such a fan of, of so many people on so many levels. So that's probably what I'll say I'll end up doing. But even that becomes work because I feel like I start, you know, trying to learn things and, <laughs> and pick up on things and then ideas get to flowing and, and so on. So it's definitely a, a lifestyle. Yes, yes, 100%. All right, I'm going to take some questions from the audience, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys have any questions, you can put it in the comment section or you can put it in the bubble. It's like a little bubble where the cartoon characters in the comic books, they have the little caption, so you guys can type them in there. So while I'm waiting on everyone to get their questions ready, during the pandemic, when it first hit us back in 2020, it's been a hell of a year. It's yes. been a hell of a year for all of us with a lot of, especially for content creators, film producers, directors out here, they've having to close down filming and all of these things because this pandemic hit. <sighs> How have you been managing during a pandemic? Has it been difficult for you to get your projects out here or do appearances? Because I know we know we got a lot of film festivals, you know, Tribeca and Cannes Film Festival and all of these things coming up this time of the month right here. Has it been difficult for you to present your projects out here the way you want to? Or have you been great managing? Um, it didn't really affect too much uh, as far as actually... Uh, getting projects done I, that year was actually one of the bigger years for me uh on uh, production wise uh, we actually shot a, a film during the quarantine called quarantine relationship we actually shot that during lockdown and man let me tell you a lot of people was going in on me about my haircut and stuff i'm like y'all don't understand we shot this during the uh the quarantine for real i'm like man so it was that was a a, a humbling experience filming that that movie i hadn't been to the gym in about three months i ain't had haircut like I wanted but <laughs> but we shot that um during the during the lockdown and we were actually in the middle of filming Forbidden Fruit during all this madness so we filmed uh, part of Forbidden Fruit right before the lockdown and then soon as they gave us permission to be out and about again we finished it up and then right after that I went full force like I said I spent that time to write I, I wrote four scripts and shot all of them like between um august and december so the year overall was definitely a, a bigger year for me in terms of the amount of content produced but as far as like you know the public um uh, like film festivals and things like that things like that definitely you know shifted but you know we, we just gotta adapt but the good thing is we live in such a a digital world now just like look at us right here we have this interview right now so i mean yeah 100 percent. now i'm gonna get to some of the comments from the audience because i know you guys have questions or comments um let me see right here let me scroll back up shout out to Demita edwards she said i love watching all your movies you're a nice actor let thank me scroll you. a little bit thank back you so up much. Try not to erase anything. Let me go all the way back up. Ooh, Terrell. Nelson, first love your body of work. Dope is in the game. Chicago is the backdrop for a lots of movies. So when will you make one of your hits here? Thank you. First of all, thank you so, so much. That means a lot. Ah, uh, I don't know. A, a few people have been asking me about Chicago, so we might have to make it happen. I actually have a few directors out there that reached out to me, so I don't know if it would be a situation where I'm in someone else's project in Chicago or if me and my team do some location scouting and actually shoot something there, but I think it would be a, a, a great backdrop for a film. So I definitely see it in the future. I don't know exactly when, but like you said, let's manifest it. Let's manifest that it happens soon. 
That's right. And it will. I, you know, whenever I said that something is going to happen, it nine times out of 10 has happened. And I've done so many interviews in the past. And I've said, OK, remember this project that you're putting out right now is going to be a hit because some people kind of get self-conscious and mm -hmm. they're just like, OK, they doubt themselves. Right. But I tell them all the time, you have to go back and reassure yourself that this will happen. Right. And even for me, when I started Style by Stevie, I didn't think it was going to be a hit because I always used, I started off by doing just the Facebook lives, talking about pop culture and the news and everything. Right. And people would tune in to view it. And as the years progressed on, as we like to say now, the glow up, it is, oof, because I can right. go back and look at some of my old lives and I'm just like, you were too skinny there. Girl, what was you thinking with the <laughs> hair and the makeup? We all have choices, y'all. We all had uh, a bad fashion fail or moment, you know, but that only skills us for what? Growth. And mm -hmm. I can tell over the years as it's progressed, I'm 27 now, uh, a whole different outlook, a whole different point of view, just on my perspective on how life is and how this industry works from the journalism aspect. Because mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not a Viola or a Megan or any of these actresses are out here or Kerry Washington. But that just kind of made me get my feet well in the field of acting because it was so new for me. I've never done it before. But when we did the table read, I just went in and I nailed this character the way my producer and friend slash colleague, all of that and more shout outs to Alex. Mm -hmm. I love him so much. He said, just go and just be yourself. Um, because I do have a little bit of sassiness, but mm -hmm. I tend to not show that from time to time. But from, you know, I try mm -hmm. to keep it professional. I throw a little shot here or there. I throw a little shade here or there. And, you know, the <laughs> eyes say a lot. But <laughs> so let's a lot. <laughs> Yes. I'm going to get into some of your awards. What was it like being nominated for these prestigious awards, the Rome Web Awards in Italy? What was it like receiving this nomination? You know, it, 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 it felt amazing, but honestly, I'm the type of person that doesn't really let that type of thing get to your head, but I was I was humbled and, and thankful for it, but I'm going to be honest, I wasn't like, oh my God. I'm just like, okay, that's great. We got to keep it moving. But it definitely it was a great feeling though it was okay all right the next question again is for my ladies the music videos we've seen you in numerous music videos so how did you get into becoming the male model in the music videos or you know you're going to be the recognized face i can guarantee you that because we got the video vixens the ladies we always represent but being the male model in the music videos how did that come about uh, it's crazy because it kind of goes back to manifesting. It was always something that I wanted to do because I remember when I was younger saying, hey, I want to be that guy in the music video and I want to be the guy on the romance novel covers. And I've done both of them. But it was kind of strategic for me because it kind of goes like what you were saying earlier. It wasn't really any guys out there doing that. So it's like, okay, that's going to help me, you know, pave my own lane because there's not really a lot doing it at this time i mean back in the day you know you had like your tyson beffers and, and you know those guys even flex used to be in a lot of music videos and i thought that was always cool so i'm like okay let me let me do that on the, on the indie circuit and i actually have a friend of mine that shoots uh music videos and he reached out to me he showed um one of his clients my uh some of my uh, modeling photos and then they like my look and it's kind of went from there and i was in that video and then when that one came out it was a domino effect it's like oh i'm with this guy in my video i'm with this guy in my video and so on and so on but on the business tip to be completely honest it was more of a networking tool for me i'm like okay if i go and do this music video shoot i'm gonna chop it up with the director i'm gonna talk to him about shooting this movie like it was just to get just to be there i'm gonna talk to this artist about putting their music in the movie yeah, so on. It was, I use it as a stepping stone for, for networking. It just ended up turning into oh, yeah. something even greater. So I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Uh, the opportunity of that first video uh, that I did, which was uh, by Dre Accused, was a video uh, for her song Xena. And then when that one went out, the response, like even from her fans, like all the ladies, I was like, who's that guy? You know, he look good. And then other directors started seeing, seeing that. And then it just kind of, we moved on from having like one video to like 15. Wow. So, and so it's on. An I already have problem. a few coming up as well. So, so y'all just got to stay tuned for that because we've seen multiple music videos on your IG feed. Like every time you look around, you're in a music video. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got a question. Let me see. Oh, we asked that one already. 
So I don't see any more questions. I thought that was a question someone asked about the entanglement film. You just got to stay tuned. So we go, before we conclude this interview, our last question. Our last question. Oh, what man, is we're having so much notes? fun. The last one? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll take a few more questions, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Like I said, I try to be conscious of the time. I don't like to try to keep my guests long. Uh, uh, what is one of Nelson's guilty pleasures? It can be ice cream. It can be shopping. It can be anything. Oh, man. Got a lot of them. <laughs> guilty pleasure. You know what? Ice cream is one of them. I love ice cream. And I'm going to just say sweets. And you want to know what's funny, though? Because I sweets are actually something new to me as an adult. When I was a kid, I did not like sweets. And it's funny because my nephew's the same way. Like, my little nephew, he doesn't. Like, most kids like cake and candy. He'll be like, mm, -mm. And that was me. I didn't even like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches when I was a kid. I'm like, no, nah, can I get ham and cheese? Like, I don't want it. I didn't like sweet stuff at all until I turned, like, 20. So now I, that is one of my guilty pleasures. Now I like to, especially when I'm writing. When I'm writing, like, I really love to eat a lot of things that I shouldn't be eating. <laughs> right. And I meant to ask you that, too. Like, what is the writing process for? for you like when you're developing your characters or creating your films and your concepts like where do you go to for inspiration for developing your film and your characters and just the overall storyline it's funny because like it'll just hit me at the most random time and what i have to do is like i could be driving i could be in the shower i could be at the gym I have to grab my phone put it in my notepad like something and then i'll go back to it and then i'll build on it or even when I'm traveling, it just hit me at the most random time. I think it's just being able to, like, relax and not think a whole lot. So that's why I think it happens the time and places that it does. Like I said, like, it happens in the shower, if I'm driving, or if I'm in the gym. Like, just relax. But then it just be like, so I'm like, all right, I can't write it right now. But let me write down the idea. Or it might be a character's name, a new name I haven't used yet. Or something about that character or just a brief synopsis of the storyline. I don't want to forget it because it comes to me like so often. So I'll put it in a notepad in my phone. And then when I get some time, like right now I'm in the middle of writing some things. I'll just go back to those notes. I just relax, you know, meditate a little bit. And then I kind of try to unplug from the real world and I'll enter my, my fantasy world, so to speak, because it's like a whole another world. I know that was in that zone. <laughs> no, go ahead. You're in that zone. So we didn't even get a chance to do it, but I'm allowed Nelson to turn the tables on me. I always do that with my guests. I'm always having them in the hot seat. So now it's time for the guests to ask Miss Stevie some questions. So we we gonna flip the role a little bit. So ask me anything you want to ask. Nothing's off limits. Okay, let's see. Let me ask. Let me ask. Let me let me figure out something. I learned so much about you so already just just from our dialogue back and forth. But let me think of something. I'm probably thinking something later. I'm going to DM you like, hey, this is what I should have asked. But <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Since you you had your first experience at New, and it sounded like it was, it was great, is that something that you want to pursue more? Yes, I, I would love to. I'm always open to learning new things. And for mm -hmm. me, this movie role was definitely an experience for me to experience something that I've never experienced or done before in my life. Because I'm always, if you guys know me, y'all know that Miss Stevie's a little bit of a wild card. I love mm -hmm. to shock people. Ever since I was eight years old, that's something that I always wanted to do was either act or I, I wouldn't say sing. I would sing along with the radio, but either host a television show or just act in general. That's something that I've always wanted to do when I was younger. So okay. yeah, I would love to do more acting. All right. Dope. Definitely, fo definitely follow your heart and your passions. I think you should. I'm looking forward to checking out your, your project that you uh, that you shot. So I'll be looking for the trailer and all that. On your page yes, I drops. can't wait. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> the anticipation is killing me so much. I bet. I, I know how that goes. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes, you gotta wait. Thank you so much. And you too. You keep doing all these music videos. Next thing you know, we'll see you working alongside one of um, Dream Doll or one of these female rappers out here. They'll have you in one of their music videos. I can see that for you in the future as well too. Because you're like I said in the beginning of our interview, you're one of the most requested actors and models out here. And I was afraid that I wasn't going to get this interview with you. I'm like, oh my God, he's got massive a massive following. He's got 
all of these gigs lined up, and I'm pretty sure he's not going to want to sit down and conversate with little old me in the dollhouse. No, so that's what I'm kind of scared of in the beginning. It's nothing like that. I appreciate you having me. I really do. And, I'm, and I apologize for taking so long to get back with you. I don't know how that happened, but we already talked about that. Um, so I appreciate you being patient and allowing me on your platform. It's, it's much appreciated. Oh, I got to ask you one yeah. more question, though. So, what's your favorite Nelson J. Davis movie? Or have you seen any of them? Oof. I would have to say be Beautifully, uh, is it Beautifully Insecure? Beautifully that insecure. one right there is one of my favorites. That one okay. right there resonates with me because I speak a lot about to black women on peer pressure. And I have another project that is coming out that is going to be similar to that outside of Style by Stevie, but it's just going to talk about, you know, because you guys know that Miss Stevie's a glamour girl. I, I live in hair and makeup 24-7. I'm such a girly girl. Ever since I was little, I would play in my mom's makeup and stuff like that. And then I went to beauty school throughout my high school years. And I said, this is something that I would love to do. I would love to make people feel beautiful. But we know how the beauty industry is when it comes to black skin. So I created a project that is going to be coming out next year called dying to be beautiful and i asked the question at what price are you willing to be beautiful especially being a black woman in this industry we know how it is with colorism and massage war and misogyny and so many different challenges that we face so i'm not going to drop that until next year so it's going to be a little platform where i talk about issues that we as black people not just black women but black people as a collective as a whole and the masses we go through when it comes to the challenges of the entertainment industry telling us that your brown skin isn't beautiful enough your features aren't beautiful enough so out of all your films that you've done that one right there resonates with me the most the yes to the kid t hamilton uh, that's actually the writer and director of that one i i'm very grateful for that that film because it led to so many more opportunities for me. So that that film is special for me. I didn't play a huge role in that, but that's a whole nother story. It opened a lot of doors for me, uh, a domino effect of things. So definitely, definitely uh, love that film as well. So look at you now. Look at you now. Music videos and more modeling gigs to come in the future. I can see it. So don't say I didn't tell y'all something when y'all see him walking down the runway for the Ralph Lauren show or Endo Speedos. Lord Jesus. Um, <laughs> um, help me, Lord. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> but this interview has been an amazing conversation with you. I had so much fun and I would love to have you back on in the future soon to discuss any other upcoming projects that you have coming up. So let everyone know what else do you have before we wrap up? Let them know where to find you, your information, where they can go to follow you. Absolutely. You can follow me right here on Instagram. This is my favorite platform. So at Nelson J. Davis on Instagram. I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well, but you'll probably reach me faster and more on, on Instagram. That's just this is my favorite. And it's going to be, I can't really release the, the next titles just yet, but I got to come back and talk to you about them. But it's definitely going to be a, it's going to be a, a big fall and winter for me. I have a movie coming out almost every month, um, starting in the fall up until like next spring. So uh, I'm on a little break right now, but it's about to get, it's about to, it's about to be a lot, but I will say my next film is called Concealment. The trailer's on my page. I can't release the date yet, but it's coming this fall. But I'm excited about that one and a whole lot of other stuff coming. But So you definitely got to have me back so I can talk to you about it. Yes, absolutely. And we will talk 100%. It was such a pleasure having you here, Nelson. Ladies and gentlemen, Nelson J. Davis, model, actor, executive producer, director, all of that and more. Please go so follow, follow all of his projects. Support him. We're all about supporting new up-and-coming actors, fresh new faces. as well. He's been in the game for a minute. So tomorrow, let's jump ahead. We got Ron Royster from North Carolina down here. I'm in the Carolinas. I'm South Carolina. So he's going to be here tomorrow at 4 p.m. Met him. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'll say that's a good guy. I, I met him. Um, he was yes. actually on a project that I was associate producer on, and that's where I actually met him. So it's cool. Good guy. Yes, we did an interview. We had an interview scheduled. It was me, him, and another actor that was also like in the South Carolina area, Mario Brown. And the panel just kept messing up. The weather was kind of bad. So we rescheduled Thank him. And he's going to be here tomorrow. But 4 p.m. today, ladies and gentlemen, you're not getting one show. 
but you're getting two shows today, hopefully. The beautiful Jodness Music will be with us today. Beautiful up-and-coming sang singer and songwriter. She will be here at 4 p.m., so make sure you guys tune in for that. But before we can close out this interview, is there anything you'd love to tell your followers, your fans? What advice would you leave them with in parting words? Whatever. This is about to sound real um, cliche, but it's the truth. Just have tunnel vision. Get your goal. Look at it. And just have tunnel oh, vision. Yes. Don't let people say that you can't do what you know that you can do. Don't fall into the hype of you're too great because you'll lose focus then too. So just have tunnel vision. Focus on that goal and just keep going for it. Like that sums it up. I know that sounds cliche, but I tell myself this every day. Tunnel vision. And, and prove your doubters wrong. I, I do it all the time. I, I'm a Scorpio, and Scorpios, we have that resilience. We're always, whatever, whenever we set our mind to doing something, we're very passionate, and we go for it. And everybody can tell that I'm very passionate about Style by Stevie. This is my baby. Like, I had it from the ground up. And to see where it's at right now, it's just like, wow, all this growth. So... Mm -hmm. The best advice that I will give to you guys is stay true to yourself. Never lose sight of who you are. And more importantly, I want you guys to be safe out here. Wear your mask. Wash y'all's hands. If you want to take the vaccine, take it. But make sure you guys are protecting yourselves. Yes, sanitize it. Definitely. I have a bunch of it. <laughs> have it on. And I'm looking at the wipes there, too. Yeah. <laughs> But without further ado, Fashion Dolls, we're going to conclude this interview with our very special guest, one of the most, again, most wanted actors and models in the world, Nelson J. Davis. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Style by Stevie Talk Show. I'm your host, Miss Stevie. And Friday, big announcement. We welcome a new co-host as well, too. No, I'm not leaving the platform or turning it off to somebody else. But I have two male co-hosts now. So you know who runs the roofs and wears the pants over here. It's always <laughs> going to be the woman because women, we run the world. So EJ and our new guest co-host or co-host, Johnny. So make sure you guys tune in this Friday. I love you all. Y'all be safe. And make sure you guys tune in this Friday as well, too. And tomorrow, Ron Worcester. I love y'all, and y'all take care. And thank you so much again, Nelson. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Talk to you soon. You too. All take right. care. You too.